When we started uh, about three and a half years ago with kind of trying to establish a new benchmark for reference subwoofer performance, the team developed our 16 Ultra series, and, and I'm, I was absolutely thrilled with the results. I think we, we uh, as, a, as a team, kind of reset what's possible in relatively affordable uh, price ranges for reference subwoofer performance. Then the question was, how far can we extend reference performance? And a little more than a year ago, we unveiled our 4000 series subwoofers where we brought reference subwoofer performance to an even more affordable price range. So being very restless people, our engineers uh, immediately upon uh, culmination of the 4000 series projects asked themselves, how, how much more affordable can we bring reference subwoofer performance? So I'm proud to announce the culmination of that effort is our 3000 series subwoofers, where we bring reference subwoofer performance to below $1,000 US. Uh, I am absolutely thrilled with the results that our team developed, and I think we can say safely that the 3000 series brings reference subwoofer performance to new lows, both in terms of low frequency response, that's our little pun, both in terms of low frequency response, but also the price range where one can have reference subwoofer performance. And we do it with several things, but the thing that I want to talk about first is our all new 13 inch driver. Now we have used uh, a 13 and a half inch driver in our 4000 series subwoofer. So it's not the first 13 inch driver for SVS, but the question was, could we bring a 13 inch driver with SVS reference subwoofer performance, meaning ex extreme low frequency extension, massive output, but also with pinpoint control and accuracy and frequency response, could we bring that to even more affordable price ranges? And I'm really very, very proud of what the team accomplished. This is an all new 13 inch driver with several new performance benchmarks. And I, I, I want to ask uh, Smith Freeman, our lead design engineer, to kind of explain a little bit about what's going on in this all new driver. This is our new 13 inch 3000 series driver. And it is a tremendous feat of driver design and engineering for us at SVS. We knew we wanted to make it special, and we knew we had a really big challenge to get fantastic output out of a driver this size and at a cost that we were trying to hit. And so we took this driver as a very special, unique opportunity to employ what is a rarely, if ever, seen voice coil design. And that is what we call a split wind. The Really the cool thing about the split wind design is that when the driver is not moving a lot and you're not listening at a very loud level, you're only using the middle section of the voice coil. But when the movie gets loud and you want to really hear and feel the subwoofer and you need the high excursion from the driver, that's where the voice coil design gives you the better magnetics, the, be the lower distortion, and the greater power. So what does this all mean? This is a tremendous driver that does everything that we would expect of an SVS subwoofer. And personally, it is probably one of the most exciting and interesting drivers that I've ever worked on. Um, all of the work that we did in simulations and early prototypes yielded fantastic results, and it's shocking what this system can actually do, especially given its size and, and the price that we're able to bring it out at. So the driver, as, as, as uh, competent and capable as, as it is, is always only potential, as we say. Um, the potential needs to be realized using a great amplifier. And, and as I said at the outset of this conversation, we brought the lion's share of the benefits of this phenomenally competent uh, STA1500D amplifier to a new price range. This is our Sledge STA800D2 subwoofer amplifier, and it is absolutely amazingly capable, especially when you take into consideration the price ranges that the 3000 series exists at and what it does. It's 800 watts of continuous power, more than 2,500 watts of peak power. Uh, it is a digital amplifier front end with fully discrete MOSFET outputs. What that means is it's capable of 
phenomenal real world high current performance to make the potential of that all new 13 inch driver a reality. And we marry that with very sophisticated analog devices DSP. Nobody puts something of that level of sophistication into a subwoofer amplifier, but we did it. And it allows us to configure almost down to the molecular level the performance of this subwoofer. It, and both of the 3000 series subwoofers are really capable of taking over a room, almost loading to the room to create bass response that defies anyone's expectations, especially when price is taken into consideration. And because we use this very sophisticated DSP, it allows us to give the user all kinds of pinpoint control aspects. And those aspects are accessible from, yes, now at the $1,000 price range, our SBS subwoofer smartphone control app for any iOS or Android smartphone. And now with the latest version of our app, Amazon devices as well. So you're fully capable of controlling via Bluetooth the every aspect of the subwoofer's uh, configuration. But also, if you don't want to do all that, you can have access to very convenient features like volume control or music, movie presets, the touch of a button, you can basically ad adjust the subwoofer to be perfect for whatever content you're experiencing. If you don't want to use the app, that's fine. We actually, on the rear of the amplifier, uh, we allow you to control most of the key functions via our all new intelligent control interface, ICI, that is super convenient, really easy to use, and doesn't require the app. So really a lot of sophistication at this price range. The 3000 series subwoofers consist of two all new models, our PB3000 ported subwoofer and our SB3000 sealed subwoofer. And they're both phenomenal in terms of what they offer, especially when you take into consideration the price. Our PB3000, ported subwoofer features our first ever dual ported design. It's the same 13 inch driver optimized for ported and uh, the same uh, STA 800 D2 amplifier optimized also for ported. But because of the sophisticated DSP, it allows multiple port tuning modes so that you can really optimize the subwoofer for the room. And we've really witnessed this. This PB3000 is capable of taking over even the largest of rooms and filling them with convincing room filling base. The SB3000 was kind of a surprise to me, not in the sense we knew the output was going to be really, really great. Um, the theoretical models proved that we already knew what the driver and amplifier combination could do. But once we crafted it together into the first prototypes and started experimenting with it, especially in listening rooms that are typical size of a normal home theater and even larger, the part that kind of took my breath away was this 15 inch or a little bit larger than 15 inch cube is capable of output that will absolutely stun you. And yet it can fit comfortably in any room and you, you almost stop seeing it. And it's absolutely amazing to me the level of output we get, not only at the price, but also the diminutive size of the SB3000. It is a shocker. So to wrap this up, we've got two amazing new subwoofers and they each kind of fill a different place. The PB3000 is a phenomenal ported cabinet subwoofer that is capable of outstanding, really even earth shaking, room filling output for even the largest rooms at a price range that we think has never been done before. So when a uh, massive output that just stuns you is your priority, the PB3000 is going to be a great choice. And then there's the SB3000, which in a 15 inch cube and below $1,000 price is capable of stunning you with the output it has, the low frequency extension it has, and the precision and accuracy it offers. I am so proud of what our team has accomplished with the 3000 series subwoofers. Check them out.